it's not even that they're doing, it's not even that they're not willing to pick up the cross and do the Lord's work. They're doing anti-Lord work. And you got to be very clear about that. There's a lot of neutral people out there. There's a lot of, there's a lot of folks that got a lot of problems still, a lot of sin, a lot of, a lot of things that they haven't ironed out in their life. That's different than being a Satanist. That's different than climbing to the top of a, of a, a telephone tower with no harness. That's different than getting a gun and, and going to shoot up a bunch of people. That's different than, you know, uh, convincing all women that abortion is their sole source of political relevance. These things are not middle of the road. They're not neutral. And that's what I'm saying. Increasingly, then people aren't neutral. I mean, people have always had problems. Everybody has problems. That's baked into the cake. You're going to have problems. We're getting way off in the left field now. I mean, this shit is getting way out of control. No better example than, than Houthi and the Blowfish, the, 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 new, the new holy war. Um, the escalation. What do you think? You've been paying attention over the last week. I, I, I honestly haven't. I knew exactly where we were going. I, I know exactly where we're going. I knew where we were going. I said it when Israel and Palestine first went to war. They would use it as justification to spread the footprint of this, this issue. And you were going to see people throw down on all sides. And to be honest, yeah, Iran's probably going to get cut out. The Palestinians are going to get cut out. But that doesn't mean that we're cutting them out for righteous motive. That doesn't mean that they shouldn't get cut out. That doesn't mean they don't deserve to get cut out. What it means is when I go to cut somebody out, when we go to, when we go to uh, adjudicate punishment against somebody, if it's not righteous, it ends up ricocheting and hurting me as well. And that's what we've seen with it. Did Saddam deserve to die? I mean, by many people's standards, yeah. Of course, you could say that. Nobody's innocent. If you believe in God, certainly if you're Muslim, Christian, or Jewish, nobody's innocent, really. So, yeah, you can make the same claim for Gaddafi. But did we kill them for a righteous reason? They could tell you that shit on MSNBC or Fox, and they will tell you that on both. But we all know the better now. Uh, hopefully we do. We got, our, we got our ass handed to us, and we got our ass taken from us hand over fist. But you've been watching closely. What do you think about what's breaking out? Well, the, the Israelis assassinated an Iranian general over this past weekend, and the Iranians are vowing for blood revenge. There's an ongoing series of uh, attacks in the Red Sea where the Houthis are attacking all the commercial shipping that's in there. Mm. And I got thinking about this, you know, because we have these navies. You know, we have a 355 ship navy and it gets about $400 billion a year of funding. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. I got thinking about, okay, so now our Navy is going to defend trade. So who are we defending in the Persian Gulf? We're defending the Chinese. I mean, that's who's getting the benefit because a third of the world's oil supply comes out through the Straits of Hormuz, which is different than the Red Sea. There's... These are called choke points. They're maritime choke points. I really, I had a revelation. We're there to defend trade. No, we're not. We're there to shut it off anytime we want to. You know, this whole Belt and Road Initiative has been the Chinese struggling to overcome this tremendous Anglo-American maritime advantage that goes back to the British Empire. They said, oh, we can't catch up with this anytime soon. We're going to go over land. We're going to create infrastructure. And you know when the Nord Stream 2 pipeline got blown up, everybody got a real good lesson in infrastructure. That would be called hair today and gone tomorrow, like little bunny foo-foo. <laughs> you spent all this money on this, a well-placed depth charge, and we're starting over. The, the seas remain the safest way to transport energy and finished goods. If you sink one ship, you sunk one ship. There's tens of thousands of more ships out there. So I, it just dawned on me that the Chinese are utterly and totally dependent on Middle East oil. They don't have any way to get it there that's safe because if they build pipelines, they're easy to blow up. 
and their energy supplies are coming out of that region, and we're defending the trade. So there's a certain level of intimidation that's going on here. We can stop. Between who and who? The Anglo-American cartel, the globalists, push to the wall. The United States of America, we the people. In a throwdown with the Chinese, we can cut their petroleum off. And we just had this great thing where, do you see that thing where Donald Trump said they were baiting him, handing he's going to be a dictator, there's all this thing, he's going to be a dictator, he's going to mm-hmm. do all these terrible things. And he said, I'm not going to be a dictator, except on day one. I'm closing the border and drill, baby, drill. And he's got it all figured out. I mean, it's really just that simple. It's like we, we came up with the perfect diagnosis. When I say we, it wasn't just you and me. But we're kind of out on the front edge. I mean, you, sir, have been very much on the front edge of diagnosing the post-World War II Democrat liberal order and distil- distilling it down to three simple ideas that they use to sell their ideology. And they sell it right here in Senate District 45, and they sell it at the World Economic Forum. It's the same three ideas. Mm-hmm. But now we've come up with three, and we struggled with it. We said, we got to come up with counter ideas. No, they don't have to be counter ideas. Social equity. They're, well, that's theirs. The social, social equity, equity, climate. Social equity, climate, democracy. Okay, now we have our three. The border, the debt, the military-industrial complex. That's And if you want to make your life better, if you believe your life is better, being poor for the planet and being poor to right the wrongs of the colonial past, if you think that's who you want to be. If you then want, vote for Nikki Haley. That's cr- or Joe Biden. No, I mean, but let's let's just put the fish right out in front of our own boat here. Let's fry that fish, right? Yeah. Vote for Nikki Haley if that's what you want. A vote for Nikki Haley is a vote for poverty because nothing makes us more poor than a forever war. Mm-hmm. We've been getting drained since about uh, 2000 and Bush. Mm-hmm. I mean, you take a look back to 2001 when Bush came over, we had almost, it was like $3 trillion. A day. We had very little national debt. And still people were screaming about it because they knew once the camel got its nose underneath the tent, voila, $35 trillion later, here we go. And, you know, life's still going around, and I'm watching these people on MSNBC. The economy's doing so good. I was watching an economist. I give Joe Biden an A. Oh, really? Come on. We got to pay for this, or we're going to have to work out who's going to pay for it. No. There, we don't have to pay for it. Proceed. Yeah, this the whole thing is the, the. Could you put a little bit more in there for me? I don't want it to run dry. We don't. We don't have to slide it over a little bit more. Yeah, we don't have to pay for it. We're gonna go to war and kill. When the bill comes due. Oh. And that's gonna pay for it. That's the whole point. That's the whole point of a military-industrial complex-based society. It's called a do-over. When the bill gets, when the bill comes due. Somebody's getting clipped. And right, that's what's happening right now. Partially, that's what's happening right now. You know, they can make it be, seem like it's about culture and religion. And, you know, I just, I'm not buying it. I mean, you could run that bullshit on, you know. About the money. 